Hey, you, looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Yeah, the captain said we might be getting a new recruit. That you, then? Sounds like Clyde's jumping to conclusions, but yeah, I'm Felix. You're on a first-name basis with Captain Harlow, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. Nothing to do but stand around and watch the Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man? Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He kicks things what need kicking, and we look the other way when he starts talking anti-corporate. It's a good arrangement. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face. But you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. We get rid of this traitor for you and I'm in? I mean, assuming I want in. We're building a new world together, Felix. You'll want in. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. You mind trying to have a moment here?
Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. That's Harlow's mark, no mistake. Guess he's not letting this one go. I don't want any manner of harm befalling Rufus. Not on my account. We're not? Oh, right, yeah. We're non-violent sorts. Real diplomatic. All right, you made your point. Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. We're now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Remember that you are... ...are not insured. I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Right. You just stumbled into a camp full of armed strangers because you wanted directions. How much is Harlow paying you? A favor, huh? Let me guess. He promised you some reward in the brave new world that was to come. Said he'd make you his lieutenant if you crossed me off. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Harlow wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset, a two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent.
take it you've made up your mind. You really want to... Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are... What's the word? So it is. Thus ends Rufus Trask. Once a sensible man, by and by a fool, presently a corpse. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. The Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? You're inclined to believe the word of a traitor. You realize he would have said anything to shake you from his trail. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Thank <laughs> you. 